it's me, Cynthia Gujian of Complete and Utter Mess, Inspired Mixed Media Tutorials. But today, I'm here with a free project for tinypandora.com. In this video, I'll show you how to make a polymer clay tea light holder with a silk screen veneer. To create the tea light, I use templates from the Tiny Pandora Easy Cuff Kit. The kit is available at tinypandora.com. I also used the Sculpey Mosaic Cutter Set Hexagon, 4 ounces of scrap clay, a 2.5 inch round cutter, 2 ounces of white polymer clay, 2 ounces of black polymer clay, 2 ounces of Sculpey Primo Wasabi clay, 2 bracelet sized silk screens, and a small amount of black and white acrylic paint. You'll also need a pasta machine, a craft knife, a clay blade, liquid clay, a texture sponge or coarse sandpaper, a ceramic tile, patty paper or baking paper, and a furniture slide or piece of cardstock for burnishing. Okay, let me show you how it's done. Roll out four ounces of scrap clay or solid colored clay at the thickest setting of your pasta machine. The sheet should be 11 and 3 quarter inches long and at least 3 inches wide. Place the Easy Bangle templates on the sheet of clay. For this video, I only used the 1 and a quarter, the 1 inch, and the half inch Easy Bangle templates. But you could make your sheet a little bit wider and use all four of the templates if you'd like. Use a clay blade to trim around the templates. Set the one inch and half inch strips of clay aside. Wrap the one and a quarter strip around the outside of a round cutter. I like to use a two and a half inch cutter. It's a good size for a tea light holder. Use your clay blade to trim the strip flush. Use an acrylic roller to roll over the seam. If necessary, you can use the dull side of your blade to neaten up the edge. Use your finger to spread a little bit of liquid clay or bacon bond over the seam. Then cure the piece, tented, at the manufacturer's recommended temperature for at least 30 minutes. Once the piece is cured and cooled, remove it from the cutter. Then use a sponge or your fingers to apply liquid clay to it. Wrap the one inch strip of clay around the piece. Take your time and do your best to keep it centered. Use your blade to trim the one inch strip flush. Wrap the half inch strip of clay around the piece. Then trim it flush with your blade. Use your thumbs to gently press down on the edges of the one inch and half inch strips. Do your best to keep the pressure even on both sides and don't press so hard that you flatten the edges. Remember, you're trying to create a dome. Once you've created the dome, use the heel of your hand to smooth and even out the piece. Then cure the piece, tented, at the manufacturer's recommended temperatures for at least 45 minutes. After the piece is cured and cooled off, roll out a sheet of clay at the thickest setting of your pasta machine. Press the piece into the clay, 
Press hard enough to leave an impression, but not hard enough to cut through the clay. Remove the piece from the clay and then use a piece of kitchen sponge or your finger to apply liquid clay or bacon bond to the bottom of the piece. Place the piece back into the groove you created. Then use a craft knife to cut around the piece. Use a blade to trim any excess clay from the bottom of the tea light. Keep the blade angled in toward the center of the bottom of the tea light. Once you finish trimming it, cure the piece upside down at the manufacturer's recommended temperature for 30 minutes. While the tea light base is curing, Prepare the silkscreen veneer. Start by rolling out about an ounce of white clay at the medium setting of your pasta machine. Lay a silkscreen over the clay, shiny side down. Gently press on the silkscreen. You don't want any gaps between the screen and the clay. Apply a line of black acrylic paint at one end of the silk screen. Then use a squeegee to pull the paint over the screen. Once the screen is thoroughly covered in paint, carefully lift it from the clay and immediately rinse it in warm soapy water. Set the clay aside to allow the paint to thoroughly dry. Roll out an ounce of black clay at the medium setting of your pasta machine. Place a silk screen over the black clay. Use a squeegee to pull white paint over the silk screen. Carefully remove the screen from the clay. Rinse it immediately and allow the paint to dry thoroughly. When the paint is thoroughly dry, use the smallest of the Sculpey Tools mosaic hexagon cutters to cut both silkscreen sheets into hexagon shapes. Roll out a sheet of black clay at the medium setting of your pasta machine. It should be at least two and a half inches wide and 11 inches long. Place the hexagon shapes on the clay alternate between the black and the white hexagons. When you've completed three rows of hexagons, burnish the veneer. Just place a piece of patty paper over the veneer and then burnish with a furniture slide or even a piece of cardstock. Use a piece of kitchen sponge or even your fingers to apply liquid clay to the outside of the tea light base. Trim the veneer flush and then wrap it around the tea light base. Use your blade to cut away any excess veneer. To smooth the seam, roll over it with your acrylic roller. Gently press the veneer over the bottom edge of the tea light base. Then gently press it over the edge of the top of the tea light base. Use your blade to trim a small amount of clay from the bottom of the tea light so that it will sit flat. Then cure the tea light, tent it, at the manufacturer's recommended temperature for at least 30 minutes. Once the tea light is cured and cooled, use a kitchen sponge or your finger to apply liquid clay to the inside. Roll out an ounce of wasabi clay to your pasta machine's medium setting. 
Use the one and a quarter inch template to cut a strip. Place the wasabi strip inside the tea light and then trim it to fit. Cut a two and a half inch circle from the wasabi clay and then place the circle inside the tea light holder. Use a texture sponge to thoroughly texture the wasabi clay. If necessary, trim any excess wasabi clay with your clay blade. Then cure the tea light tented at the manufacturer's recommended temperature for 30 minutes. Apply some liquid clay to the bottom of the tea light. Roll out about a half an ounce of black clay at the medium setting of your pasta machine. Cut a 2.5 inch circle and place it on the bottom of the tea light holder. Then use a texture sponge to texture the bottom of the tea light. Begin in the center and move out toward the edges, removing air bubbles as you go. Use a clay blade to trim the edges. The last step is to cure the tea light upside down at the manufacturer's recommended temperature tented for 30 minutes. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. And check out all the other great videos here on the Tiny Pandora design team. Until next time, keep creating.